My name's Ian Andrews and I'm working on a project called The Sketchbook and the Collider where I've been collaborating with Professor Kostas Nikolopoulos from the Particle Physics Group at the University of Birmingham. And we've been trying to find visual equivalents to what happens at the quantum level. Um, and this is the latest manifestation of that um, here at Studio Kind. And this particular exhibition um, pushes forward in several ways, partly because of the colossal um, size of the, the walls here at the gallery. Um, I've tried to do two main things. One is to respond to the um, Hadron Collider, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN and the detectors that they have at the Hadron Collider. That's where they, they smash particles together and create new particles and analyse the elemental building blocks of reality. And it is a colossally huge place and the detectors are huge and these are based on the ALICE detector. They're about half the size of the ALICE detector, so you can imagine how big ALICE is. Um, and, uh, sorry, ATLAS. There's four different detectors. Uh, these, are, these are based on ATLAS. Although if you saw photographs of them, you wouldn't necessarily know the difference. Um, so this, the scale of this is something that I've not done before. And the second thing that's going on, particularly in the, the work in the, in the far end on, on the rolls, but also in the large ones that are here in front of you, um, is I've tried to push the materials much more forcefully so that instead of it just being a coded series of visual equivalents, the materials themselves are being pushed around and worked into. Um, so there's a range of techniques going on that depict the different qualities of the particles. Um, so there's, there's printing, there's spraying, there's pen work, um, and there's, 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 there's rubbing and sanding back into the drawings. Uh, this one in particular um, has, when you get up close to it, has holes in it where the industrial sander has literally ripped through the surface of the thing. Because at the quantum level, there are phenomenal energies going on, uh, hence the nuclear bomb. Um, but this is happening, uh, these, these particle interactions are happening all around us as we speak. I, I, you, you are seeing me, and I'm seeing Richard photographing me, um, but actually what, what in reality is here is a load of particle interactions that are just visible, the only bits of which are visible to us are the photons that are coming towards our eyes. So we, we only see a fraction of reality, and uh, it's, 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 reality is not what it seems. Um, to, to quote a famous particle physicist. Uh, the other thing that, that I've tried to do with these particular large drawings is that they have lots of small visual incidents which draw you in and yet they are part of this huge colossal drawing. Um, so you move backwards and forwards. Um, you move in to look at the tiny detail, you come back to take in the colossal detector um, equivalent um, and, it's, and you become a moving participant in the choreography of all these particles that are actually moving and creating the universe around us and, and, and creating, creating me as, as I'm speaking to you.